Hey YouTube, this is DWS Darius, and right now you're looking at my 210 gallon freshwater aquarium. Now when I was setting up this fish tank, one of the things I wanted was to have fish that would occupy all levels of the tank. This tank is pretty tall, almost two feet tall, and I wanted the bottom, middle, and top of the tank to be active and just to have fish that would stay in those portions of the tank. And so I did my research, I found the fish that were best suitable for those levels, and now I want to share with you guys in case you want to have a similar setup or if you just want to know the best fish for different levels of the aquarium. So enjoy. Okay everyone, so when we set up our fish tanks, one of the things we want is for the entirety of the tank to be used from top to bottom, from left to right. So first off, I'll talk about some of the fish that will occupy the bottom level of your aquarium. Now it's definitely not hard finding fish for that bottom level because pretty much every fish that is a bottom feeder will spend the majority of their life at the bottom of the tank. One of my most favorite groups of bottom feeders are your catfish. These are also the most famous of all bottom feeders. You can have all different types of catfish, all different sizes. But my favorite of all is the corridors, mostly because these are the most active when it comes to all catfish. From my experience, these catfish pretty much are by far so much more active compared to some of your other catfish just because there's not they're not as shy as some of your other catfish i have some catfish that i keep that i only see every other month whereas these corys are out all the time so that's one of the reasons why i just love cory catfish another reason that i love cory catfish is just because they come in so many different varieties so many different patterns currently in this tank i have three different species if we look over here i have the standard bronze cory catfish um then over to the left side behind that rock you can't really see it too well but i have a pepper cory catfish he was just out moments ago and i also have in this tank a group of panda cory catfish which is that little guy right there so um, i love the fact that the corys come in so many different varieties i think in total they're close to 20 between 20 to 30 different species of cory catfish so it's definitely a nice um just group to choose from and overall, quarries are pretty easy to take care of. They don't get too big. I think they max out around three inches. So you don't have to worry about upgrading tanks with these guys because they're not monstrous like some of your other catfish. And as I said before, I love the fact that these fish are active. And that's what we want, some stuffed fish that will bring activity to the bottom and quarries are just a great option. Another catfish that I love for the bottom of the aquarium are your Pictus catfish. Currently, I have a, lot, a striped Pictus catfish. Um, they also come in the spotted variety. Pictus get a lot more bigger than quarries. They can reach around 7 inches. Mine is 6 inches. And they also are a lot more aggressive and territorial. So you always have to keep that into consideration. They will eat fish small enough to, to fit in their mouths. That's why my Pictus isn't inside my 210 gallon tank. But um, Pictus I find they're pretty active as well. They, don't, they choose a territory and they stay in that territory. However, you get to see them, whereas some other catfish you barely see at all. So Pictus are another great choice. Another group of fish that are good for the bottom of your aquarium are loaches. Loaches, just like catfish, come in different species which offer different colors and sizes. And I find that you can pretty much fit a loach into any freshwater setup that you have. I currently have African cichlids, and with those African cichlids I have a school of six clown loaches. And they're just awesome to watch. Now I find with loaches, the more that you have, is the better results you'll get because loaches are schooling fish and they really act like a unit and the more members to that unit is just the more active they're going to become um, and just the more curious they're going to become and just more active and entertaining to watch. One of my biggest clown loaches is now 10 inches and um, it's just awesome to watch these fish. They're very active and just very personable. Okay YouTube, so I have one more group of fish that are good to occupy the bottom level of the aquarium. And those fish are geophagus. Now geophagus are a group of South American cichlids, also known as earth eaters, just because their natural habit of just plucking at the substrate looking for onion foods. I love geophagus because, first of all, they come in so many different varieties. You have so many different types of geophagus. I currently keep three. So many different species of geophagus, I mean. But I currently keep three. Over here I have geophagus altifrons, if that's how you pronounce it. I also have geophagus redhead tabajo which is that little guy back there and my most favorite is over here geophagus standachnari my beautiful male i also have a group of fry growing out in the fish room but just a very beautiful fish so i love geophagus not only because they occupy the bottom of the tank 
but they're super beneficial from my experience. Geophagus and their natural habit of just always plucking at the substrate. It's just great when it comes to the overall quality of the tank. They're constantly plucking through the substrate. They not only eat the food that is left over, they also um, just stir up the substrate so that all poop, all uneaten food, all detritus, whatever is in that tank that I don't want, they stir it up and then my filter can take it so that when I come with the water, when I come with the siphon, when I do my water changes, I really don't have anything to suck up. And um, I just love them because they're not only good for occupying the bottom of the tank, they also serve a purpose. So that's a look at some of my favorite groups of fish that dwell at the bottom of the tank. Okay, so after the bottom, the next level is the middle. And I find that when it comes to looking for a fish to occupy the middle of the tank, that's the easiest because there are just naturally a lot of fish that prefer that middle level. Now in my 210 gallon tank, I keep quite a few barbs and barbs in general are a great fish for the middle of the aquarium because they are middle swimming fish. Um, some of the barbs that I have are gold barbs, Odessa barbs, rosy barbs, and Deninson barbs. Also in my fish room, I keep a large Tenfuyu barb, all of which spend a decent amount of time in the middle of the aquarium. The same thing with Tetra, a lot of Tetra. Currently I don't keep any Tetra. Well, I don't keep any schools of Tetra. I have some individuals, but no schools of Tetra. But the majority of Tetra will also spend a lot of time in the middle of the tank. The same thing when it comes to platies, mollies, guppies, a lot of them will also spend a lot of time in the middle of the aquarium. So when it comes to looking for fish for the middle of the tank, you really have a great option or a great amount of options to occupy that side or that portion of the tank. Okay, so after you find fish to occupy the middle of your aquarium, the last portion of your tank to occupy is the top. Now, I found that finding fish to occupy that upper level of the tank was a bit more harder compared to the other levels. Now, there are fish that spend a lot of time between the top and middle. Those fish include rainbow fish and danio, but I wanted the fish that would spend just the majority of his life at the top of the tank. Now, I came across two fish that spend a lot of time the majority of the time at the top of the tank, one of which is the hatchet fish. Currently, I keep a few of my 210 gallon tank. These fish are extremely interesting fish. They're, they become quite rare in a hobby. You barely see them. However, these fish, they absolutely stay at the top. When I do water changes, no matter what I do, my hatchet fish are always at the top. And that's why I love the fact that they don't move. Even when they're afraid, they just go to the other side of the tank. They don't, I never see those hatchet fish at the bottom of the tank. So a fish that stays at the top, are hatchet fish and another fish that stays at the top is the African butterfly fish. Now I haven't kept this fish recently, I have kept it years ago, but this is another fish just like the hatchet fish that spends a great portion of his life at the top of the tank and rarely comes to the lower levels of the aquarium and just keeps that top of the tank occupied. Now I also found some killifish to do the same thing like the golden wonder killifish. They do a great job staying at the top of the tank. but. That's all I pretty much found when it comes to fish that stays at the top. Other than that, you have fish that goes back and forth, but I want a fish that stay consistently at the top of the tank. Okay YouTube, so that has been a look at some of the fish that I think are best for occupying the entirety of your tank, from bottom, middle to top. I'm just trying to cover all levels. Of course, there are many more that I didn't list, so I want you guys to let me know some of the fish that you think are best for the top, middle, and bottom. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I have a fish room full of many different types of fish from large to small, freshwater to saltwater, planted tanks, rockscapes, all different types of tanks. And I have a lot to show you guys. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. And that will be all.